What is enough capital? Should I wait and I raise like the money I need? Should I start small? What is your view? Like best of no. your experience? There's never enough capital. Mm -hmm. Because even me, I still need more to invest. Mm -hmm. It's here. Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Afrobeast 101 show. We have had a long morning this morning. We started at 6 a.m. We are now here, it's, as I speak, it's about 10 a.m. and we're still at it, but for very good reasons. Like I said, it's Women's Day. We have our first guest, uh, you know, on set. As we speak, actually, we are at uh, Relate uh, Design School and Interior Designers. We are gonna showcase uh, some of the things that they're doing here, but um, you know, I'm in the company of an amazing lady Like I said a gem a, a lady who's you know keeping it real grinding and showing other women that it's possible and Being that it's women's day, you know We're gonna hear from her firsthand to know you know what makes her tick and what keeps her going So once again, Amanda welcome and welcome to the show. Thank you very much for hosting me Yes, no, it's a pleasure. It's, a, it's an amazing, amazing experience to have our first guest on the Afrobeats Hustle Show and none other than you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're super excited. So we're going to start off where we left off. Yeah. I know you beat me in the game. I'm, not, I'm still healing. <laughs> I'm still healing. Yeah. Some of the muscles are aching. I won! <laughs> yes! Women, you can always win at anything you put your mind into. Even if it means using mind games. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. And you, you, you deployed some of those, you know? You know? But yeah. women rule the world. True. It doesn't go, uh, you know, disputed in any way. Mm. So, um, you know, let's start off from where we stopped, mm. right? We uh, talked about a little bit about, you know, a Monday woman, a Monday mother, a Monday wife, a homemaker. Mm. But I wanted to take a step back a little bit. Before Amanda being a mother, before Amanda being a woman, mm. before Amanda being a wife, mm. there's Amanda the child. Yes. Yes, we just want to know, you know, who was that Amanda? <laughs> How has your journey been as a child, you know, to where you are now, before we even talk about the nice things that you're doing? So I, I think if I remember my earlier years, it starts from when I was probably four years old. Uh, I could probably remember who taught me my first smile. That was my sister, Jean. Uh, she taught me how to smile. And I think the smile has kept on all through. I even smile at difficult moments. But um, at 12 years old, I think I was 10 or 12, uh, my dad used to have a lot of money. So we grew up in a life of probably, I would say, luxury. And then things dimmed. There was no money anymore. My mom had to hustle. So I would say the person that shaped my life into the woman I am today is my late mother. I thank her for uh, making me into the woman that I am because I remember at 10 years old or 12 years old, I'm in P7, I'm done with school and I have to go to senior one and there's no school fees. Uh, so I'm, I'm, my mom sends me to one of her best friends, uh, I would say she was called Mama Helen Wamala, the late as well. And I go to her house to take her an envelope, I don't know what they were communicating, but of course I know my mom needed probably some help. So she asked me, why are you not in school? And I tell her, you know, uh, mommy doesn't have school fees. She owns Muyenga High School, so she says, go tell mommy. Go to school tomorrow, Mr. Kajim is going to give you a uniform and you're going to start school. At this age, I'm frying fish with my mother. Mm. In, uh, I think that was Nakawa at that time, mm. where we were frying fish. We fried fish in a lot of places, Nakawa, Bunga, Gaba. So each and everyone knew this young girl who's frying fish with her mother. And... Um, <laughs> It was amazing that we used to sell fish to different people so they would stop their cars and they used to ask me this question, what is 
a very talented beautiful young girl who speaks very good english selling fish i'm like yeah it's paying my school fees so this went on up to senior six i think now senior six i'm growing into a mature woman mm. and i'm thinking mm. ah probably this is no longer for me so i employ some people we're still doing the fish business but i have people so i'm on the sideline i'm still making sure that the money is still flowing in but i think i took on a lot of responsibility as a child so it made me grow up so fast so uh i thank god for my mother again if it wasn't for her she taught me a lot she taught me how to be the woman that i have become today so i i won't say so much in my growing that um uh, <laughs> i would say i love the good life okay 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 and i always embraced the goodness in what i wanted yes so in growing up everything that i have done i have lived the life that i wanted to live mm. so i keep on doing the things that i do because i know the vision of what i wanted even as a little girl yeah and i've kept on at that yeah yeah no amazing i think it's deep and intense yeah. uh you know that part of the selling the fish to just mm. make sure that you make ends meet yeah. having tested the good life before with your yeah. dad now you know this so you've tested a little bit of both worlds i i know how both worlds feel yes, i yes, do yes. definitely but just going a little bit deeper so yeah. amanda a naughty girl amanda a shy girl amanda a quiet girl oh i was you never quiet yeah. no never quiet i was always the noise maker i was the i was always there you, you have to see me mm. you don't you don't miss me in the mm. room like even when i like even basketball how did i start playing basketball yeah. i used to be a lot, lot around uh, male figures even people like were really really older than me i used to be like around them like for i don't know even my mom used to find weird dad why are you always around men what are you doing around them but i'm like ah you know so i started playing basketball african gospel church i think i was about 12 years old mm. and i loved that so every other time it's something that i just keep on doing because yeah it's what i do awesome awesome i think that's that that now tells us where amanda <laughs> stands out even now you know you were stand out you used to stand out in the mm -hmm. room even then now quick question so um so fast forward into relate design right mm. how do you learn there is it by background or profession how do you you know pivot or land or you know services it yeah uh so for for me relate began as i, w I don't want to say a joke because the things of god have purpose yes. yes and when god has purposed himself to make sure that this is the place you're in no book no education mm -hmm. no signature no nothing will stop you from blossoming into what you need to become yeah. so we start off relate uh, my little sister i think i said it early in the court she's like ah there's this job why don't you do it because i know you like switching up things because that used to be me yes, but coming yes. from a background because my dad was in construction i think even without me realizing it it shaped me okay yeah i was my dad's financial controller at what 10 years old mm -hmm. so i think business for me was just something that just kept on happening but when it comes to design it's not even about the business aspect it's yeah. it's the end yes so when i enter a space i have something we call the photographic memory i see the space and i've seen it mm -hmm. Then when it comes to now doing the work, I've already seen the end. So by the time me and my designers and the people that I'm working with, we're trying to juggle here, here and there with the floor plans, ETC, I've already seen the end. Yeah. So yeah. it's like place here, place here, but I still glorify God because I don't think it's in my own wisdom that I see the end. And God is a designer, you know, smart. He says, let there be light and it's yeah. there, let there, you know. Yeah. So yeah. 
Okay, so amazing. So you've talked about designers moving into spaces. Are there any like, uh, or how many works have you done, like major works? And do you want to mention any names? You know, I'll leave that to you. Uh, <laughs> yes, I have done um, quite a number of works. Before we used to do residential works. And I, I don't think I've mentioned, there's so many people, we've done so many projects uh, and we thank all our clients, by the way, the ones who trusted in us to yeah. give us work. Mm. We are really, really honored that we were able to execute. But uh, when it comes to commercial projects, we have, um, oh, MTN, MTN, one of okay. our recent projects. But before then, I think before MTN, there was PKF. Uh, PKF. I know, is, I know PKF. Yeah, yes. PKF. Uh, yeah, we've done some work for Windy. We've done some hotels. But I'd say our recent project was with MTN, which we started off. The first project was we did their cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And uh, from their cafeteria, we awarded another contract. Yeah, so. Mm. Hmm. Sounds amazing. MTN Uganda, one of the biggest taxpayers. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds sounds like um, media projects that you've done. Yeah. Um, so let me just maybe ask this question. So normally with a person listening, hearing the big contracts, they're like, oh, you know, they look at the, the finished product, they're saying, oh, she's gunning very big things. But they, most people are not privy. To the inner fight the fight to reach to the you know the achievement i just wanted to pause that question are there any challenges that you've found along the way right oh. and are there any defining moments that you believe you know have been pivotal in your life yeah. journey work ways depending uh, i'd say there, there's so many challenges that we have gotten mm -hmm. It comes from even the people that you work with, mm -hmm. uh, even your suppliers, even the people that you are working for. Yes, we have faced challenges, but by the grace of God, we have uh, managed to uh, overcome yeah. because what our cups overflow. Uh, defining moments. Uh, of course, there's been so many projects where I'm like, "What you, you, you've been amazing. This wouldn't have happened be, um, if it wasn't for you." But uh, for me, I'm 33 years old, mm -hmm. by the way, mm -hmm. and a mother of three amazing children. Awesome. Three amazing children. My first is 11. The next is five, and my last one is two years old. Mm. But what I would say, one of the defining moments of my life was when I lost my mother uh, on the 15th of December 2023. Um, I, I would say, let's say 14th December, I was working on a project which I needed to present the next day. So my little sister gets sick because she was with my mother in hospital. Mm. Most of the time she used to sleep with her in the night. So that night, she happens to get sick out of the blue, mm. like really, really sick. So she couldn't sleep in the hospital. So she says, Diana, you don't want to sleep today. And I'm thinking, you guys, I have a project. Why are you know, saying I'm I going know. to sleep here? Like, I tried to challenge it. But then I, I didn't know God was doing his mystery. So yeah, I go in my computer. I stay with my mom up. I think that day I still like, till 3 p.m. 3 a.m. sorry uh, and before there's a friend of mine who actually came to see her so as she was leaving I was gonna send take her out and my mom was like Dan I know you're not gonna come back that well no mommy I'm just scooting out two minutes I'm coming back mm. and truthfully I spent two minutes and I came back in and I kept on doing my work Mm. And I was looking at her, she'd say, do this, give me juice, do this, and I just kept on doing. Little did I know that actually this was the last minutes I was spending with her. Mm. It, it was it was crazy. So in the morning, I leave at about 6 a.m. I send my siblings message, I'm like, I send a picture. I'm like, yeah, but mom, she's good. 
So the next person, she's coming because I need to go for my presentation, get ready. Yeah. So I go home, come back to office. And then when I'm office, I'm called, oh, your mom is in ICU, blah, 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 come sign this document. It was crazy. Like, I, I didn't get what was happening. So even in the midst of all this that was happening, I still said I have to make it for my meeting, 2 p.m. Yeah, yeah. I have to, so I draw, I got, I think I got a bike mm. or something to MTN. And then I met uh, one of the people I was going to present with. We entered, actually it rained on me that day. <laughs> mm. And one of the MTN people had to give me a t-shirt to change into to meet the CEO. Interesting. So I change into this t-shirt. I go and then they tell me the meeting has been postponed. And I'm thinking, what's going on? So I say, you know what, let me use this time. Since it's still 6 p.m. Let me go and see my mom. So I go, I go in and I see you. I still see her and I'm thinking, this lady's gonna survive this. Mm -hmm. And the doctors are saying, no, she's not. And I'm telling them, no, you people are joking. She's, mm. she's alive. But I don't know, for a minute there, I felt like she was going. Mm -hmm. So I went out, I made my last cry. I went back in, I, said, I didn't say goodbye. <laughs> But I went back in mm. and after I got back in, I got out and I was like, I think it was done. Like it, it was done and I went for my meeting. So 10 minutes into my meeting, mm. 10 minutes before I actually enter my meeting, I get a message that she's rested. Oh. I went into my meeting, I presented. I think even the people that I was presenting to, when I told them after the meeting was done that my mom had passed, they looked at me and they're like, is she, is she okay? But for me, what made me feel at peace is even my mother would not allow me not to have attended that meeting. Yeah. She would tell me, Dana, like if I can echo her voice, mm. Dana, I am gone. Mm. But you have children. Yes. That I love so much. There's you that I love. There's your siblings. So for me, that voice is what kept me going. I tried to shed tears. I tried to cry. But I also thank God for the strength that he gave me through the process. We did our work and everything blossomed. So for me, this project was not just any kind of project. It wasn't even about the money. We thank God for the money, by the way. But for me, it wasn't about just any mere project mm. that I was doing. Mm. It had an attachment. It had yes. a story. And uh, thank God that we finished well. The client was very happy. And I think wherever my mom is right now, she's proud of me. Yeah. Now yeah. that's deep. Yeah. That's very deep. May her soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, I can imagine how, you know, you, you're gaining something in terms of a contract and then you're losing someone so dear to your life, right? Yeah. Like you said earlier, she's like one of your pillars you've been looking to, sure. who taught you how to hustle. So, I can imagine. So yeah. may her soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Now, just just uh, uh, just stay on that point. So, how many siblings are you, and which uh, number are you? Uh... <laughs> we are. We used to be nine. Okay. Two died along the way. Mm. So we are seven. You're number six. Yeah. You're almost on the last. Uh, yeah. You're among the last. Okay. I should have been the last, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, we thank God for Vicky. We, yes, we thank. So I think uh, a, a big family, I think there you were able to at least uh, to hold each other during yes. that trying time. Yes. So now tell me, Diana, um, in terms of, um, we've talked about Relate, mm. the interior design, mm. but I know that's not it all. Mm. What more uh, entails your business portfolio empire? for someone who's there just to understand you know <laughs> okay so i've listened to people uh, say um i think even men of god say it or it's somewhere in the bible where you should have different streams of income mm -hmm. so i tapped into that so i own a restaurant called holy smokes holy smokes yes okay. i own an interior design school 
I own the interior design studio. Mm -hmm. Then I have my different fish hustles. Yes, in the streets. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of um, outside catering myself. Yes, yes. So I take on projects where I wanna do things myself. So I do barbecue events. I do a lot of, um, yeah. Uh, God, uh, I, I have a lot of hassles. I know. Then even in my PR field, I consult. I'm an image consultant. Okay. Uh, so I help with shaping people's image and mm. perspectives. Uh, human results, no, that I didn't really take on. But when it came to PR, I do my PR. So whoever needs my services mm. to just shape up themselves okay. and their companies. So I do a lot of that, yeah interesting a woman of so many you know uh skills right so we've talked about the design right we've talked about the school yeah. right um so what does the school entail what does it do and uh you know how does someone out there who wants to do to walk your footsteps right do okay so what happened uh, like i said interior design studio starts and then along the way people start asking me amanda can you teach us we want to learn how do you do these things so i said you know what instead of carrying everyone on my burden why not open up an interior design school where we go practical yes, yes yeah we yes. go practical we we teach the principles of design mm -hmm. so there's a lot that we teach when it comes to design but again we teach out of experience mm -hmm. by the book but also experience Experiential, because for yeah. us experience is Experience is the best teacher. 100%. Yeah. 100%. So we located in Muyanga, okay. at Chisovoka House, mm. uh, where we have the studio, but we also have the school at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And our courses last for only three months. Three months, okay. Yes. So when you come here, we have three months courses. But however, we also have one month courses, which are AutoCAD, where we teach people tech okay. in okay. interior design. Yes, yes. yes. Amazing. So um, for a youth out there and they want to apply, I'm say best uh, in Jinja hmm. and I want to do the three months course. Hmm. Is there an application online uh, or they have to maybe call the office? How do they go about it? I, I believe the fact that it's a three months course would for now uh, physical presence is very okay. important. Okay. Uh, online sessions for an interior design course, I wouldn't recommend. You recommend, okay. Because uh, there are certain things you're going to pick when it's a one on one, when yes. you're face to face yes. Yes. with the person who's tutoring you. So for now, we haven't set up online courses. Like I said, for us, it's not really about the money, it's about mm. what are we giving, how are we giving it back. So yes. it has to have purpose, it has to have a foundation. Yes. Yeah. No, amazing. So we have also talked about now the eatery business, the restaurants, the outdoor <laughs> catering. Uh, I told you, you're a lady of many skills. <laughs> and then you also talked about the fish, mm -hmm. which takes you back dotted lines. Yeah. You remember when you said you were doing the fish, so you've never left that, that, no, that piece no, of hustle. No, 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 I cannot. Yes. No. Okay. Uh, that fed us through. It, it, it's, yeah. it's a lot. It's a big part of our life. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Why not commercialize for meat, right? Yeah. Exactly. Why not? I agree with you. So now let's talk about a little bit about financials, mm -hmm. uh, Amanda. When it comes to um, anyone trying to start a business, mm -hmm. what is enough capital? Should I wait and I raise like the money I need? Should I start small? What is your view? Like best of no. your experience? There's never enough capital. Because mm -hmm. even me, I still need more to invest. Mm -hmm. It's here. Mindset. Here. Okay. What's your mindset? Mm -hmm. What do you want and where do you want to go? Yes. So how do you begin? Mm. So you have to train your mind to understand where you want to go. Yes. And then you start. Mm. Once you start, the rest is history. Uh, that, that for me, out of experience, I'll tell you. Because when I sat down at the office, I opened an office, I opened one. Mm -hmm. I started. Yes. When I said I don't want to work for someone else, I did work for someone else. I started. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's the mindset. 
you mm -hmm. have to set your goals right one of the verses that goes well with me i think i will open my bible okay i'll pass you the book <laughs> yeah i just need to find that but one of the verses that really works along well with my life is in uh where is habakkuk god is in the i need to find habakkuk so it's habakkuk 2 2 let me just open my phone okay and it says uh and the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables mm. that he may run that readeth for the vision is yet for an appointed time mm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie mm. though it tarries though it takes long mm -hmm. wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so yes. i i'll tell anyone out there write write your visions down okay because there's power in writing in writing yes 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 i have books actually i think i have a lot of notebooks where i have written where i'm seeing this place mm -hmm. where i see relate five years ten years mm -hmm. 20 years 30 years i have written where i sit one year i have written and trust me you in writing i have seen god surprise me it manifests into life yes amazing amazing yeah so for me habakkuk 2 2 is like one of my to go to okay so the message to the viewer is that if you have a vision you're passionate about it you start yeah. basically they shouldn't wait to amass a lot of capital when, when is it okay when is it yeah yeah <laughs> it's to, uh, when is it going to be enough when is it going to be enough it's yeah. not when it's going to come but when is it going to be enough yeah 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 okay makes a lot of sense okay so i i think very good context in terms of the financials the other question that i have and maybe i'll just pose this question since we've just touched the bible yeah. what are those books that you know hold you you hold dear that drive your inspiration mm. and if you can share to a viewer out there which books they can read both from a spiritual perspective mm. maybe but as well to better their business acumen okay for me even not touching business in mm -hmm. terms of books uh read anything that has love mm -hmm. because when you learn to love the godly way the godly way the godly way okay. even your businesses flourish yes yes in love comes forgiveness in love comes blessings so there's a book here i have uh it's by joyce Meyer. okay been reading it lately it unlocks the secret to lasting joy so money is a bonus because God has already blessed us. Yes, yes. So we, we cannot ask him for what? For money? Mm. He says, I've given you everything yes. in his word. Yes. So I can no longer ask God for money because he has already given me. Yes. So to teach someone really how to blossom or read a word, the Bible is the best manual. Okay. So one of the books I would say, go to your Bible. You have a life strategy there yes you yeah. have a manual there but yeah please read reduce me to love <coughs> Joyce Meyer. then there's also called, another reduce book. me to love yeah by Joyce Meyer then there's also another book uh, by Ravi Daniel Lapin uh, yeah. business secrets from the Bible so like I said, the Bible is the manual. So whatever he has written here, the secrets he has written here. Is based on the Bible. It's based on the Bible. Amazing. So, and God said to Abraham, leave your country, your family, and your father's house to a land that I'll show you. So there's a whole story about that, living a land. Yeah. But you always have to follow the instructions of God. Absolutely. My mother left Kenya after hearing the instructions of God. Oh, she is. She oh, yes, I am Kenyan. Oh, one one. Jaluo. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. That's a new thing that yeah. I did as well. So yeah, but yeah. thanks to my parents, I, I have citizenship in Uganda. Mm. Uh, so I'm both Ugandan and both Kenyan. You're East African. Blooded. I am East African. You're East African. Yeah. Perfect. So sometimes with the instructions of god there are certain things you need to do but yeah let's read the book of what rabbi daniel lapin if you can. still has 
Bible secrets. Yes. Yeah. So business secrets from the Bible. From the Bible. Like I said, it's the manual. It's the only manual the Bible. that I know. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I like that you draw it from the Bible. As mm -hmm. in, and you've been very consistent in all our conversation. Uh, you know, your anchor is, is the Bible. Your mm -hmm. anchor is God. And it's amazing. I just wanted to also ask uh, just a little bit. Um, in terms of... Uh, now let's talk about your business. Mm -hmm. The world is evolving. Mm -hmm. Everything is changing. Mm -hmm. um, we're talk we're hearing a lot of technology. People are talking about AI. <laughs> you're talking about the, the robotics, 3D. How has that influenced your business? And how infused is technology mm -hmm. in your the way you operate? Right. Uh, I'd, I'd say lately everything runs around that. Yeah, around tech. Mm -hmm. So we have learned to embrace it. We've learned to utilize and use it because, like as I keep on telling you, that Bible, eh? there's nothing you're going to create that God hasn't seen the end. So He gives us that wisdom to create. So, whatever man is creating, this, these are opportunities for us to enjoy the earth. So, it helps us blossom in our businesses. So definitely I've embraced tech as in mm -hmm. that's why we're seated here. You know, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. The, the other question, so you have different businesses and yeah. I believe you are one person. So oh. meaning you're depending on people, yeah. right? To run those businesses. Yeah. Um, from the SMEs I've had from a number of them cry every day because of people, right? <laughs> I, mean, I mean staff. <laughs> What is your take on that? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to pinpoint, but what I'm going to say, I wish everyone would embrace businesses, mm. whether you're employed or your own one, embrace it like it's your own. Mm -hmm. It's my cry and my call to the people that are working for other people, mm. even the people that are working for me, to embrace things like it's theirs. Because mm. every time you embrace something that it is your own, yes. then you're going to make it blossom, you're going to make it grow. Even if you have challenges, yes. you're going to cross it yes. and make sure that it works. So the fact that people take things for granted, mm. I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult mentality that I really do not want to juggle into. But my cry and my call would be for people to take things like as if it was theirs. Mm. Yeah. And then the world would be a better place for all of us. Very true, 100%. So one key question I wanted to, I can't leave the set without asking. It's a women's week. It's a yeah. women's month. Like mm -hmm. we said earlier, women's, yeah. women run the world, yeah. right? So as a, you know, a, a, a business, you know, driver, as a woman, uh, what is your message to the women out there? today uh, i'm imagining a mother uh, out there who thinks maybe it's not possible to make it in the business world it's cut out for different people uh, you know a girl who's finishing school and what, what next mm. do you understand someone who's maybe thinking about getting out of employment but they're not figuring out what to do or they have cold feet every time they think about it they say, it's not no, not possible. Let me work for this person. But guess what? Maybe some of them are in pain working for the person they're working for. It's not passionate for them. They have something that they call passion, mm. but they're fearing to step into it. So what is that message to the woman specifically <laughs> on this day, on this in this week? My message, it's, it's, it's an interesting one. My message to the woman is in whatever career field, as in now I'm not even speaking interior design, I'm off interior design totally. In whatever field that you're in, come look for me. Mm -hmm. Let me guide you. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how things are done. But you have to be ready because I'm still going to take you back to my manual. My manual has every secret. Mm. If you read the Proverbs 31 woman, mm. you will know as a woman what you need to do. But if you still don't get it when you go to Proverbs 31, I am here mm. to guide you, mm -hmm. to lead you in whatever field, okay. be it engineering, be it business, be it design, be it accounts, whatever field that you're in as mm. a woman, I'm ready and willing 
to guide you oh another free cost on this month next month the other month in the next six months i'm here and ready to help out what a, a woman of, of a big heart <laughs> that is amazing you're actually offering the services you're trying to lend a hand mm. for free to any woman who's out there yeah. right i think that's that that's noble yeah. that's great you know that's giving back yeah. to 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 our fellow uh you know citizens right so now if the message is loud and clear it's <laughs> gone out right and it's on record right yeah <laughs> It's yes, on record. Yes. So how do they now reach out? If someone wants maybe to reach out, how do they reach out to you maybe? That is one. Then secondly, if you're over swamped mm. because you're a busy lady, very busy lady. Mm. And I know even just right now we're discussing and I know you have a schedule back to back yes. up to night. So what medium or platform can they be able to use to reach you? And is there are there any other words for those who maybe can just go follow those insights can i i think specifically uh for what i want to do for the women mm -hmm. i think I, I want them to write a story to me or a background of where they're failing mm -hmm. or where the problem is so they would go to i think has a one or one has yes. a master is going to put my email down we'll definitely do that yes two five six at gmail.com yes relate meaning relationships i yes. love to relate so relate two five six at gmail.com okay write me an email and i will respond i know like you said i have a very busy schedule but because i've committed to this i'm gonna make time for it yes. I, every time i commit to something i make time for whatever i've committed for i never go against my word because my word is my bond yes so yes. yes i will make time for these women like i said in the next six months i got them I think this is the best gift that Afrobeez has even got uh, on this channel because like I said, first guest on the show and she's offering her services for the next six months yeah. to the women out there who really need any counsel in terms of business field, how they navigate. I think that's amazing. We thank, thank you. you. Um, just adding on to that, so you've talked about the email. For a lady who's, I'll give an example let's say in Kisumu, who's had this uh, mm. message, maybe down South Africa or in Nigeria, mm. who still wants to relate with you. Mm. Can they either pick you on the socials oh. or can they pick you on WhatsApp? How do they go about that? So my personal Instagram is Amanda Diana Yuji. And then if you want to find me on the design school, which I will still respond is Relate Design School and then you also find us on relate design studio which is our studio where we do our work school is where we teach mm -hmm. and then amanda diana ug is like my personal so i can yes. be able to yes. yeah reply and yeah no. and youtube soon we are there that's why i'm yeah. here <laughs> you've had it guys you've had it i think quite insightful quite uh you know um in, in, in interactive but most importantly i think that even the value add of the offer to support the women i think is amazing mm -hmm. specifically as we're talking about the month now i'll go back you know like i say work without play you know? <laughs> we uh, i know you're a busy lady yeah. a lady of so many things i to this morning we played basketball so at yeah. least i know <laughs> basketball is one of the things that you do in your uh, yeah. in your spare time yeah. so apart from basketball Mm -hmm. What else occupies your time in your spare time in terms of activities, <laughs> maybe sports? What else? Okay, I wouldn't say I have a lot of spare time. So yeah. the time that I have, I always have a headset on. If people keep on, I know so many people keep on seeing me on a headset and they're wondering is she answering calls or what's going on. So I usually listen to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that would be what I call my spare time mm -hmm. and then the time that I have I spend time with my family uh, because they are a big part of everything that I am okay. doing and sports basketball when I can when you can yeah. like I told you earlier I haven't played in a while so yes, yes when I can but I love to swim oh, I love to okay. swim so I always make time for swimming. For swimming, yes. Uh, I think I do massage twice a week. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, because my body is always up and Making, down. So yeah. I need to always 
find a way of yeah Keeping relaxing my yeah. muscles and all yeah. that but and i'm a foodie so i eat out a lot mm -hmm. i don't eat out a lot because i can't cook because i'm a very very good cook by the way uh, i'm ready to take you on a challenge on that if you're ready <laughs> but <laughs> i eat out a lot because i like to taste different food yeah, yeah. Cuisines, yes. i want to taste different so i love nigerian food i love chinese i love japanese okay um yeah yeah ugandan food as well Kenyan food but yeah i love anything that has pepper ah okay so that means you love even indian food as oh, well oh yes exactly yes, my dear. so the challenge for me i can i i believe any day i can do a rolex so uh -huh. I, that's the challenge <laughs> i can take you on you know no but uh, I, I think amazing amazing stuff so just just to uh, now understand so we've talked about uh, your leisure time we've talked about you know what you do uh, on a day-to-day -day, the business field that you're in what message uh, generally do you want to leave now this is a course for business people mm. uh, you're in the same field like the mm. peers what mistakes do we do and, and we're not talking the big mistakes Mm. What are the small mistakes do we do as business people in any field which cut across that we need maybe to refine? And we're talking about solving for Africa because we're Ugandans, we're solving for Uganda, we're, even the Kenyans are solving for Kenya. And if we solve our problems as Africans, we take Africa to the next level. So how, even though it's one or two things that you think we can do better as Ugandan business Consistency. People. Okay. Consistency. Mm. We do not have consistency. We do not have patience. Mm. Uh, we'll start something off today. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow, ah, there's also this other idea. Yeah. Because we're looking out for the physical money, mm. not the overflowing money. Okay. Okay. So because we're looking out for that today, 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 mm. we're not consistent. Mm. We're not consistent in what we do. So we'll try this out, try the other, I'll juggle this one, juggle the other one at the end yes. of the day. So I, for me, I'd say, let's try to be consistent mm -hmm. in one thing, let it blossom then move to the next. Amazing. You've talked about physical money and overflowing money and really, it just <laughs> I painted the picture myself. <laughs> made a lot of sense made a lot of sense and i've seen you're right i've yeah. seen quite a number of people who start today into this line and then maybe they have seen a friend or mm. someone has talked mm. then they're pivoting already mm. and they haven't given patience to patience this, to this, this particular hustle yeah. no it's it's very true the one other question maybe one of the last questions that i have for you today on the set is your mother mm. and a mother of three mm. right uh, today they are still they are going they are going through your guardianship and mentorship yeah. how how is your um, you know how do we involve or introduce our children into say businesses the reason why I ask this question is that we have seen some uh, country like cultures say the Indian the Chinese mm. and even uh, even the Europeans and, mm. and the West they have grown what you call intergenerational businesses, right? So meaning that they have, you know, seeded their business to their children and their mm. grandchildren. We don't have that too much in African setting. Mm. How do we do that? It's a challenge that even us young, young <laughs> parents have. How do we do that? I think I'm already trying uh, when it comes to that. I bring my children around my businesses. Uh, if be it food, be it the uh, yesterday I was with my little ones, they were here mm. seeing what we do. They spend a whole day, and someone is wondering what's a child doing in a whole day in this space because they get tired easily. But the more they see, the more they want. My son loves what I do, my 11 year old, so he embraces it easily. He, it, it's like, oh, mommy, I want to do this. I want to draw this. I wanna... So when you keep them accustomed into the space, that's why, like you said, Indians, you find by the age of two, three, you're already in the business. Mm -hmm. You're watching. Whether you're not working, you're watching. They send you, pick this change, mm -hmm. give it to that person. Mm -hmm. Pick this, give it to that person. So the Bible says, train up the child the way you want them to grow. Train them. Mm -hmm. So even when it comes to business, train. 
yes. teach them yes. in how you want them to be and then that's what you will be. Yes. Yeah. No, amazing, amazing. Amanda, you have been such, uh, you know, a light of knowledge and inspiration on the show. We thank you so much for having spent time with us. I think, viewers, we, we have had a wonderful experience, I think, uh, from, uh, you know, sharing, her sharing and pouring wholeheartedly. So we thank you for having listened to us. And uh, for those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the like button and share the video so that we can be able to, you know, continue doing this work. Our goal is to make sure that we, do, we you know, we share an idea or two to all the people out there who want to start a business, who want success, but they don't know how. But we will bring those people to the set so that we can be able to share that idea or, or the light. Now, Amanda, just as a final wrap-up, anything that you want to share with our viewers tonight or today um, that you before we, we, we wrap it up? <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you to you, first of all. Uh, I actually, myself didn't think I would make the time, but I thank God that you gave us this opportunity. Well, thank God you did. Um, this happened. Yes. Uh, I want to thank the people that are watching. Yes. Uh, for giving us time and audience yes uh, because everyone is busy juggling everything that they're juggling and uh, all I want to say is trust in God mm. um, the Bible says faith is a substance of things not seen so even if you're tiring even if you're waiting trust in God that he already knows he has you, he got you. Mm. So for me, I think to the public is just put your trust in God. Anything that you're worried about, the Bible says do not worry. So I'd say, yeah, that's what I can leave you with, the word of God, the manual that I know best. And it starts and ends with the word of God, yes. right? So there's no better message than that. Yeah. Amanda, we thank you so much. I think you've been, uh, a blessing Thank if i may say our first guest <laughs> i think we are honored and blessed to have you and most importantly we have launched the first guest on the on women's day on women's day yeah, yeah. so amazing and if since the women rule the world we know we're destined for bigger things. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the Afrobeats Hustle 101 show. We are very honored to have you. Look out for the the video out, uh, the more videos that we, uh, you know, we're going to roll out. But we're super excited. We're super pumped. And as I sign out, I say, stay hustling, stay grinding, and keep it Afrobeats. See you on the next. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>